Hey guys, welcome to another computer graphics tutorial. Guys, you need to understand why I make these videos. I am making these videos because when I needed the knowledge or when I needed this information to pass and study for my exams, I didn't get any. My teachers couldn't teach properly and hence my result was affected. I don't want you guys to be affected if your teachers are not capable of teaching these subjects. I will be teaching for free. That's my motto behind this channel. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel. So let's get started. Today we'll be learning about Direct View Storage Tube, a quick tutorial by QuickCS. So Direct View Storage Tube, an alternate method for maintaining a screen image is to store the picture information inside the CRT instead of refreshing the screen. A Direct View Storage Tube, also called as DVST, stores the picture information as a charge distribution just behind the phosphor coated screen two electron guns are used in dvst okay in rgb we use around three guns for our uh, model but in dvst we use two guns electron guns the one the primary gun also called as writing gun is used to store the picture pattern and the second flood gun maintains the picture display by flooding the grid so this is how direct view storage tube works okay now we'll take a look at the structure of it so this is the structure of dvst okay basically we have a collector over here this is our storage grid this is the storage grid all right and we have two electron guns over here this one is our flood electron gun this is our primary electron gun also also called as writing gun okay so these are the deflection and focus plate okay so what happens is first thing is the primary gun okay it creates a image on the collector it stores the image on the collector so it basically charges this collector area now the flood electron gun after charging um, by the primary electron gun the flood electron gun what it does is it sends the it floods the grid basically what it does is it sends a lot of electron uh, uh, this thing photon particles and what happens is the area which is not charged okay it attracts all the flooded part okay and the area which is charged by the primary electron gun it uh, collects the picture and it stores the picture so whenever we are watching the picture actually the area it makes the negative one okay negative image the primary electron gun uh, gun creates so when the flood electron gun transmits the electrons or photons what happens is the image is created in the proper way these are the focus and deflection plate what they do is when the flood gun floods electron it deflects them and puts them in the proper position all right so this is the structure of dvst now working of dvst the dvst implements two electron guns as we know a flood gun and a writing gun the writing gun scans across a wire grid charging the grid to create the negative image okay and the flood gun then floods the grid Previously charged areas repel the incoming electrons. So the electrons only pass through the grid to the phosphor in those areas not previously charged. As I had told you, it creates a negative image. So what happens is wherever it is charged, the negative image part, it repels the electrons which are coming from the flood guns and the image is created. Okay. Advantages and disadvantages of DVST. Advantage because no refreshing is needed very complex pictures can be displayed at very high resolution without flicker so this is the advantage because we are directly storing the image there is no refreshing part nothing what are the disadvantages disadvantages of dvs system are that they ordinarily do not display color okay they only display black and white and the selected part of a picture cannot be erased either you have to erase the full image and redraw it or you just have to con uh, keep continuing with the current image only you cannot make changes small changes in the current image that's the disadvantage thank you guys for watching this video as i had told you i'm making this video all because of the purpose that i didn't get the knowledge when i needed it i don't want it to happen with you guys so please make sure that you subscribe like and share these videos with your friends thank you